Get the clock reset. And then it's over to you, Luke. I saw a wave there from Lorna, so off you go. Okay. Thank you, Adrian. Um, I'm also talking to you from the lands of Lekwungen speaking people in the Esquimalt and Songhees First Nations. Uh, by way of background, I was born and raised in Victoria. In fact, I was born in the Victoria EDA, the Jubilee Hospital, back when I had maternity. Currently, I work for the provincial government and I am the chair of the Oak Bay Gordon Head Provincial Riding Association. I'm an issues candidate. Some years ago, I ran for the federal liberals, but left to join the Green Party over my disgust at how Trudeau broke his promises over the Trans Mountain Pipeline and voter reform. In my view, the Green Party of Canada is the only party with any credibility on this issue. I'm dedicated to stopping the Trans Mountain Pipeline through legal means. However, we also need to consider the oil and gas workers. They are not our enemy. They're just workers trying to put food on the table. The role of the government should be to take the lead in helping them to transition to the green economy, wind power, solar power, hydro, oil well reclamation. There'll be lots of family wage jobs in this sector and the government needs to take the lead in ensuring a true smooth transition. The Conservatives have no plan, which is expected because they're bought and paid for by Bay Street. The Liberals are perhaps worse because they pretend to have a plan, but are still in the pockets of big oil. The NDP keep flip-flopping and show no leadership. This leaves the Green Party of Canada to lead the way and rein in climate change. Climate change and the environment are my main priority. However, it's also it's also important for us to have bench strength in other areas. With my years in both the public and private sectors, I can provide that. For example, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans has done a terrible job managing the salmon fishery. One of their main failures has been to permit Jimmy Patterson and other industrial fishing companies to demolish our herring fishery in order to send herring roe to decorate sushi in Japan. I think the herring population should be protected so that BC wild salmon can feed on it and get healthy. If you haven't seen my interview with Paul Watson, I would encourage you to view it and learn what Canada and BC can do to protect international and domestic fisheries. The federal government also has a role in protecting our forestry. Through forest fire suppression, replanting, and stopping raw law exports, the federal government can stop the rape of our forests by companies whose main concern are their shareholders in Toronto and New York. Along with other Greens, I've been taking supplies up to Ferry Creek. Premier Horgan deceived us with the limited deferrals which still permit old growth logging in many other areas. Please contact me if you wanna get involved. In summary, I'm an experienced and dedicated person who will hit the ground running, and I will be the best candidate to represent Victoria's green interests in the House of Commons. Thank you. 